the score. They're ready for war. Small soldiers, big battles! Commando, report! Breath bazooka, ready to annihilate Gorgonite Sark! Send in the major artillery, the buzzsaw tank! Special delivery from Slam Fist! Commanders always win! I see it differently. Small soldiers, big battles! You can get a hold of a small soldier, figures and vehicles sold separately. In this review, I will be taking a look at the Small Soldier's Brick Bazooka figure. If you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Now let's start off by taking a look at the packaging. The figure comes in a blister card package. At the top is the Small Soldier's logo, as well as the character's name. Moving down, you can see the figure itself. To the side is an illustration of Brick. The small soldier's packaging was awesome, as every figure appears to be busting out of its plastic prison. At the bottom we get Commando Elite, which is what Brick Bazooka belonged to. The bottom contains the barcode, as well as instructions on how to use the action feature. Turning around to the back side, you can see more figures in this toy line. Here's a little read up of Brick Bazooka. Feel free to pause and read. There is another illustration of the character. Here is a little read up on the Commando Elite. And finally another Small Soldier's logo. Brick Bazooka is second in command and is the artillery and ammunition expert of the Commando Elite. Now let's take a closer look at the figure. Starting with the head sculpt, it does closely resemble his movie counterpart. The first thing that stands out is that huge cheesy grin. The paint on the teeth and eyes turned out nice. And the sculpting is well done on the facial expression. Brick's hair is a flat top that is blonde in color. Moving down to the body, this guy is jacked. Wearing a dark green tank top, Brick is showing off his muscular build. Around his waist is a dark brown belt, and he also has a dark brown bandolier going across his torso. There are some added blue squares on the bandolier. Unfortunately, he is lacking his dog tags he wore in the film. Worn on the hands are black gloves. His arms are huge. While not a functioning articulation point, I do like the fact that they sculpted articulation cuts, like the figure in the movie had. Moving down to his lower half, he is wearing green camo pants. I appreciate them making the pants camo, instead of leaving them solid green. Unfortunately, the pocket on his left leg was left unpainted, and the movie was brown in color. The right leg on the other hand has metallic blue paint added. To complete the wardrobe are solid black combat boots. There are peg holes on the bottoms of the feet, as well as some added sculpting. Here is a look at the backside and a glimpse of the mounted missile launcher. He did not have this in the film. Now let's go over the articulation. The head can swivel left and right. The arms can go forwards and backwards, as well as 360 degrees. The legs can kick forwards, as well as backwards. Flipping the head down reveals the giant missile launcher. While this didn't happen in the movie, it does make for a great action feature. There's surprisingly a lot of sculpted detail. Although the figure's actual head is flipped back, there is a sticker on the front with Brick's face on it. Just look at the added detail on the sticker. This turned out fantastic. If the missile launcher wasn't enough, Brick also comes with a few more weapons. The first accessory up is an awesome looking gun. It is molded in a blue plastic. The gun is very nicely sculpted with a lot of detail. The second accessory up is a smaller gun. It is also molded in a blue plastic. I don't like this gun as much as the previous one, but it's nice that it comes with it. Rick is able to hold both guns at the same time, and I must say he looks badass doing so. The last accessory is a missile for the missile launcher. It too is molded in the same blue plastic. Once the missile is inserted into the launcher, simply press the red button on the back to fire. Toys are always more fun when they can launch projectiles. So that is my review of the Small Soldier's Brick Bazooka figure. As the Commando Elite's second in command, Brick is a must-own if you collect the Small Soldier's toy line. With great likeness to the character in the movie, 
and having a cool action feature, I highly recommend this figure. Once again, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as click on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Hit that like button if you did enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.